What's something that you had always thought was normal until someone saw you do it and called it weird? I just learned today that most suit jackets outer pockets are sewn shut, and you're intended to remove the thread. I always thought I just bought cheap suit jackets and wasn't worthy of the handkerchief. I smooth my arm hairs down in the right direction, and pluck out any hairs that aren't cooperating. I was told how to tie a tie by my left-handed father, never knew that there were left and right-handed ways to do it until college. My sister pointed out that I rub my feet together for about an hour every night, I never noticed, I forgot all about it until my husband mentioned it a couple years later. I snap my fingers with my ring and thumb as opposed to middle finger and thumb, when I try with my middle finger and thumb, it just goes thwip. Finally, someone else who does this. People tell me my hands shouldn't be able to do that but it's not hard and it's the only way I can snap. Sometimes when I yawn I kind of projectiles spit from somewhere inside my mouth. Kinda like a snake or something. It makes a little squirty noise too. Always thought this was perfectly normal till I freaked my, now ex, girlfriend the frick out. The well in my family we call sunny side up eggs dippy eggs because you dip toast in them right? Imagine me in a restaurant, well into my teenage years, and asking the waiter for a dippy egg. Confusion ensued. When I was a kid I would chew my toenails like people chew their fingernails whenever they grew too long. My family never brought it up but I did it at a friend's house once when I was about 8 or 9 and his mum was so disgusted she sent me home and I wasn't invited back. I did this too, but not at other places besides home. I really just had a weird fear of toenail clippers. Fold the toilet paper to wipe, then look at it and if there isn't a lot I will fold it again and wipe a second time with the same fold of paper. I see absolutely nothing wrong with it as there still is paper between the crap and hand. When my friends found out they flipped. Also, people ball to wipe, why? Folding is much more efficient. Folder here. Balling it up to wipe seems way more unsanitary and a waste of so much good clean toilet paper. Talk to myself. Seriously I tend to verbalize a lot of my thoughts, and a lot of people actually come to expect that from me. My excuse the thing many people have said when I discuss it with them is that I have a very strong internal monologue, and that causes me to talk to myself. Just tell them from time to time you have to talk with someone intelligent. Picking things up off the floor with my toes. I have always done this as a matter of course and had absolutely no idea that not everyone does this. I eat one food on my plate at a time. For example, I'll eat all of the green beans, then mashed potatoes, and then pork chops. I actually get made fun of for it and I don't understand why it's weird. I do this too. I categorize my food from worst to best and then eat them one at a time. Sit on the floor while showering. Might be sort of backwards, but I freaking exploded when I found out people stand up to wipe their butt. The day I learned there are sitters and standers was a confusing day indeed. Let's just say I saw way too much pee before I actually started making love. The ropes. There's never as many ropes. I eat cereal out of a cup. Frick everything though because it's convenient and I can walk around and eat it without slopping it all over the place. Eating pepperoni. I buy those bags of pepperoni you use to make homemade pizza and just snack on it from time to time. I pronounced Sean scene till I was like 13. I've always put potato chips on my sandwiches. For the crunch. I love doing that. Brushing my teeth while under the shower. Possibly the most relaxing feeling. I only brush my teeth in the shower. I don't have to waste time keeping my mouth shut to make sure it doesn't go everywhere. Eating crackers and chips with the saltier side face down on my tongue. I do it for every bite. I get so bored brushing my teeth that I will literally wander the house whilst I do it. I literally can't stand there for 2 minutes brushing. I have to do this as well, otherwise I'll rush through it in just a few seconds. I walk around the house doing other stuff I can do using one hand like picking up around the house or booting up my computer in the morning. Apparently some people don't like it when I take my food apart and eat the pieces one by one.
Nothing wrong about it, except that you might miss out on tastes and textures you only get by the combination. And if someone put an effort into delivering the experience and seeing you missing out on it they might get a bit sad. Taking my shirt off before I poop. Sometimes, you gotta shed the shirt. Some shoots get real. My non-Middle Eastern friends though dipping my rice into plain yogurt was pretty weird. Eating rice with a spoon. Frankly, I don't even understand why people even try with a fork. Those grains of rice just slip through the prongs. Spoons are the correct utensil. Dipping cookies and tea. My British roommate said it was uncivilized. I'm British and everyone I know loves dipping digestive biscuits in tea. Cookies aren't any different. Your roommate was just weird. When a pizza cutter is unavailable, use scissors. I have seen people go nearly insane trying to cut a pizza with a steak knife when the scissors could get it done so easily. And when I suggest it, I get looked at like I'm Satan. My friend had his parents contacts in his phone as their names instead of mom and dad. I do this, too, because every contact in my phone is in alphabetical order by last name. So I feel compelled to include a last name for every person. And having mom, last name, and dad, last name, would be weird. So I just list them by their actual names. Using toilet paper as facial tissues. Asian parental frugality right there. I do this also my dad keeps a roll by his bedside. Just read what I typed I hope it's just for his nose. Hugging people when you first meet instead of a handshake. I love huggers. It would be nice if it was a little more acceptable. I eat crackers for breakfast. Apparently this isn't a thing. Next they'll tell me Santa isn't real. I got some bad news for you. I tie my shoes with two bunny ears. I have no idea how you people do the one bunny ear then go around it with with other. I eat the green part of watermelon. After I'm done with the red part I just chomp down. I think it tastes has the crunchiness of cucumber. Apparently putting salt on buttered bread is not normal. It's freaking amazing and I refuse to stop. Warm it up a little with a small bit of salt and it tastes like freshly baked bread. Salted butter is meant for having on bread. If you usually buy unsalted, then this makes sense. Dipping potato chips into ketchup. Basically the same thing as fries and ketchup except with potato chips. Your friends call you strange and belittle your food opinion. Douches. I do that except with mustard. All my friends think I am crazy. Peanut butter and syrup on pancakes waffles. I'm not left handed but when I eat I use my left hand for my knife and right hand for my fork. If I go to a restaurant TTC, the first thing I do is swap my knife and fork round. People look at me as if I've just broken the biggest rule of etiquette ever. You're not alone. Welcome to the dark side. I always thought everyone visualized numbers and the alphabet in their head in some way similar to how I do. It wasn't until I was a teenager that I realized people don't see numbers in the alphabet like I do. This is difficult to explain, especially in text form, but I will give it a shot. If someone tells me a number, 579 for example, I don't just visualize the number 579 in my head. Instead I see the position of 579 in a particular spot on a complicated semi-helix picture that contains all numbers. The shape of this helix is important because I use it to add and subtract. If I am asked to add 234 to 579, I take the position of 234 on the helix and add that portion to the position of 579 on the line to get the answer. So in a way, I don't add the numbers together in the traditional way. Instead I visualize adding two pictures together and where they end. I see the answer. I remember as a teenager getting into this conversation with a group of people and everyone looked at me like I was crazy. I thought everyone had some sort of picture of the number system in their head and did math in a similar fashion. Boy was I wrong. How or why I developed this system, I have no idea. But in the end, I believe it is the reason math always came very easy for me. Apparently it's weird to pour your cereal after you pour the milk. Yes, yes it is. Taking shoes off while in a house. Didn't realize that that was more an Asian thing. It was the weirdest thing when I went to the states and went to my friend's house. He kept telling me to keep my shoes on. But I'm like, bid my shoes, have been outside. 
Being left handed. Seriously, is it that uncommon that people have to point it out every time they see it? Well only about 10% of the world population is left handed. Us lefties are a rare breed. Thoroughly rinsing all the food off of dishes before putting them in the dishwasher. Seriously, I don't want to find food stuck to them after the wash cycle. My family always taught me this, unless the dishwasher is going to get started soon. We also hand wash pots most of the time, and anything made of wood. Sorting my potato chips by size before eating them, especially when eating other food. I just think the smaller chips are better. I don't lay them all out or anything, but if I notice one that looks a little more cooked I save it for the end. The crispier chips are the best. I say close or open lights instead of turn on or off. I never noticed it was wrong until someone pointed it out in high school. It's in our Filipino blood. We also point with our lips and pick up crap with our toes. Sleep in the shower. I have always done it. At the moment I brought it up in conversation. I got the weirdest looks. Like this video and this good boy will play you a nice song. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.